Namaste, welcome everyone. I'm Krishna Tetanya Dasi and welcome to another session. Today I thought I would take us through probably a 20 minute session, um, more to get the energy flowing as well as um, focusing a bit more on weight loss. Um, if you've been like me and gotten a bit lazy over COVID, which I have, um, haven't been doing much exercise, um, so I thought this is a nice opportunity to get our bodies really moving and burn some calories. Okay, so let's make a start. Let's sit up nice and tall. So as always in uh, my class, I'd like to just start um, by focusing on the breath so that that way we can be grounded, we can be focused in our practice. So lengthening out from the spine, the crown of the head, and you can just bring your hands onto your lap and softly close the eyes. Draw in the navel slightly and also just tuck the chin in. So we wanna have that nice space in the back of the neck. Keep your face soft and relaxed. And just breathing naturally. Feeling that flow of prana and chi throughout your entire body. You can even visualize that breath traveling in via the nostrils as it circulates in the different parts of the lungs. Providing that fresh oxygen into our bloodstreams. And a really simple way to calm the nervous system. Now if you find that your mind starts to distract you with different thoughts or feelings, whatever it may be, you can very gently just draw that mind back onto your breath. Because the thoughts and feelings and emotions they will automatically come. They have a way of just popping up and then just slipping by. So just be aware that that's the nature of the mind. But what we can do is we can just sit back and observe them and try not to let it be a distraction. And we're going to start to add a mantra to our breath. The mantras we'll use today are Om Hari Om. So when we inhale, we're going to meditate upon that mantra in the mind. At the same time, we're going to circle the arms up overhead, palms together, and on the exhalation, We'll say those mantras out loud for the full outward breath, drawing the hands back down to heart into Namaste. So before we commence, just take a couple of long, deep, relaxing breaths. Start by exhaling completely. Inhale deeply. 
and exhale. Inhaling. And exhale. Now this time, inhale, let's circle the arms up overhead, saying the mantra in the mind. Exhale out loud. Om Hari Om. So just work with that breath. Inhale up. Om Hari Om. And just continue to go at your own time. up overhead and interlace the fingers turn the palms upwards deep breath in lift exhale just fold over to your right inhale up exhale twist twisting from the waist lengthening in the spine inhale up interlace the fingers palms turned upwards lift up exhale fold over to your left inhale up exhale twist right hand lands onto the knee left hand tripods behind gaze over your left shoulder inhale up and exhale just bring the hands make like a tripod behind lift up through the sternum draw the shoulder blades together and exhale release okay coming on to all fours now into tabletop Okay, stay tabletop position. Have your hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees, hip distance apart, directly under the hips. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the big toes together and the knees out wide. And let's draw the bottom back towards the heels from here. Your right hand, you're going to thread underneath. You're going to mark the center of the mat. That's where your shoulder's going to land, okay? So you thread the hand, rotate, turn the temple towards the floor, resting it comfortably on the floor. Your left arm reaches to the front of the mat here. And breathe into the lower back. Work the bottom back down towards your heels. Okay, glide that hand back. Slowly prop yourself up and let's exchange side. Okay, so now your left glides behind the right resting that shoulder blade down turn your head to the side and then what you want to do is extend this right arm forward and spreading out those fingers heels what i'm drawing back down towards the heel holding here Okay, slow 
slide the hands up, propping up, coming back up into tabletop. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to walk the hands forward. We're going to come into downward facing dog. So draw that bottom back. So when you come up here, make sure your arms are nice and long. We're going to tuck the toes under, knee comes up off the floor. Keep the heels high off the floor to begin with. Okay, keep the feet hip distance apart. We're going to draw that tailbone up towards the ceiling, chest back towards the thighs, look between the legs. Keep the ears close to the arm. And then from here, we're going to bend the right knee, release that left heel to the floor. Bring the chest a little bit closer towards the thighs. Inhale up and right heel grounds, left knee bent. Okay, so just alternate from side to side. Walking the dog, try not to take the body forward, try to draw in that navel, tailbone continues to lift up. Then really lighten the hands. Okay, releasing both heels to the floor. And as we inhale, we're going to lift the heels up, bring the big toes to touch, floating that right leg back up behind, three-legged dog. Take that knee to the elbow. Inhale back. Bring the knee to the chest. Back. Knee to the opposite elbow. Back. And let's bring the knee, the, sorry, the foot to the hand. Release. Inhale all the way up. Low lunge. Now what I want you to do is have a quick squeeze. Hip, knee, ankle, all in one line. This front knee here is in line with your toes. Knee is directly above your ankle. Okay, once you've got this beautiful alignment, lift up, reach up through the arms. Tilt the pelvis forward. Tuck that tailbone under. Okay, exhale, hands down. Draw that bottom back. Your left hand lands directly underneath. Pop onto the toes, knees comes up off the floor. Inhale, lift up with the right. Keep this knee hugged close into the body. Okay, releasing that left knee to the floor. Swivel that foot 45 degrees, step your right leg back. Easy side plank. For those who wanna take it a little bit further, you can go into full side plank. Okay, activate this muscle here. That way, help you get the lift rather than slumping through. Bring your gaze to the top hand. Okay, exhale, release. Back into our plank. Holding it here. Engaging your abdominal muscles and then back into downward facing dog. Inhale up, big toes touching. So we're going to, again, float that right leg up. Okay, we're going to bend the knee this time. We're going to rotate that hip up. Draw the chest back. Heel works its way towards the buttocks. Then we're going to swivel that left foot, bringing the sole of the foot to the floor. Rounding that right leg. Inhale up. Okay, exhale. Come back. Three-legged dog. Okay, you're going to draw that body forward. Knee comes to chest. Gonna rotate that hip under, slide that leg out, left arm floats up, hand comes to floor, three-legged dog, returning that foot to the floor. Okay, exchange side, inhale up, left leg floats up, exhale, knee to the elbow, inhale up, so we're gonna flow through this now, knee to the chest, inhale up, three-legged dog, to the opposite elbow, inhale back up, okay, float forward, step up with that left foot, grounding that right knee, have a look at the alignment of this feet, 
front feet, inhale up. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to tuck this tailbone under, get this nice flatness through the back. Deep breath in. Okay, as you exhale, release the hands to the floor. So your right hand comes directly underneath, tuck the toes under, activate that right thigh muscle, knee lifts up off the floor, and up with that left arm. So you shouldn't feel any weight coming onto this hand. If you're activating these muscles correctly, that will take all the pressure off that bottom hand. Okay, release the hands to the floor. Step back into plank. And then into downward facing dog. Feet together. Okay, so floating that left leg back up. Bending that knee. Draw that heel towards your buttock. Chest back towards the thigh. And then just swiveling that right foot. Landing that left. Inhale up. Okay, return hands to the floor. Back into your three-legged dog. Floating that body forward, knee to chest, opposite elbow. Extend that leg out. Inhale up. Hands to the floor. Step back. Three-legged dog. Release. Plank. Knees release to the floor. And coming to rest in child's pose, dear. Okay. Arms by the side, palms facing up. Just allow the shoulders to completely round down towards the mat. Breathing deep into this lower back area. Okay, so we're gonna do one more flow. So taking this arm forward. Coming back up into downward facing dog. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna step the feet up nice and wide. Okay, so wide leg down dog, draw that bottom back. Holding it here, so this is building upper body strength as well. Okay, so inhale, all we do is come onto the tiptoe. We're gonna bend the elbows and then we're gonna chaturanga through. All the way up, inhale up. Tuck the toes under, back into wide leg, down dog. And let's glide through once more. All the way up. Release. Last one. All the way through. That's it. Bring the soles of the feet together. Draw back. So stay in child's pose here. Okay, inhale, let's come up. So back up into downward facing dog. And then what we're going to do is we're going to either walk or jump the feet to the front of the mat. So if you're going to jump, bend the knees, fold forward, just relaxing here. So you might even want to have a micro bend in the knees to begin with, holding here. And very slowly, just spinal rolling up for me, one vertebra at a time. Inhale all the way up. Gentle back arch, hands back to heart. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna step out wide and so bringing the feet. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna basically, let's just gonna fold forward to begin with. Okay, so just come halfway down. Your hands can be underneath the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, lift up. 
So this other hand can grab the opposite ankle. Release, walk back to center, and you've got that option to float up with the um, other hand grounded or grabbing a hold of the ankle. Okay, slowly release, hands come directly underneath and then what we're going to do is we're going to jump, coming into sitting for me, okay? So in the sitting, bringing your right, uh, left heel into the pyrenean, your right leg extends out, so you want to be nice and long here in the spine, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold over. Other arm reaches up. Open up through the heart center. Activate these toes. Back of the knee works down to the floor. Okay, inhale up. And as we exhale, twist. Inhale up. Now release. We're going to Take this foot here, draw it up, okay, so making a pistol grip with the hand, grab a hold of the big toe and you can extend that leg out, holding it here. Okay, so now if you have that balance, what you can do is start to walk this foot out, come onto the tip toe first, okay, lean back slightly, still getting that length. Take the foot off the floor, if you can, extend out that leg. Hold it here. Slowly release. This foot comes over. Take inhale, arms out. As we exhale, twist. Grabbing a hold of the knee. Rotating from the waist, anchoring that right heel to the floor. Bring your gaze over the left. Okay, unwind. And then you're going to change foot over. So your right heel comes in. Left heel, left foot extends out, sorry. Okay, so inhale up. Exhale, fold over. Just resting that arm gently. Drawing this up. So get this openness and broadness through the chest, the shoulders. If you have a desk job or if you do a lot of work, um, you know, like garden work or anything like that, then basically we're bound to get some tight shoulders. So it's really nice to get this chi flowing through here, get these muscles opening up, relaxing. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Sitting up nice and tall. Okay, inhale up. Exhale, release. So you're gonna bend this knee. Again, make a pistol grip. Grab a hold of the big toe. Extend up. Lean back slightly. Both hands can grab a hold. You want to walk this foot forward, okay. Lengthen, come onto the tiptoe, lean back slightly, get that foot off the floor, and then if you want to, extend out that leg. Exhale, release. This left foot wraps over. Sit up nice and tall, anchoring the heel. Inhale up, arms out, exhale, twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. Okay, inhale all the way up. Exhale, release. Taking the feet out wide, the legs out wide. Readjusting your sitting bones so that they're nice and evenly grounded. Anchoring the heels. Work the back of the knees down to the mat. 
take a deep breath in as we exhale let's fold forward here just come forward glide your hands down the legs if it's not comfortable just bring your hands to the floor like this okay and then just coming forward if you can bring the elbows onto the floor and just letting your chin rest into your hands breathing here feeling that nice stretch in the inner thighs And slowly coming up, bring the back of the knees, grab a hold, soles of the feet comes together and just gently rock up and down. And then we're going to come down onto the floor. Okay, so just a couple of more stretches. Okay, so what we want to do here is we're going to come into a twist but a deeper twist so what we want to do is we want to shift the bottom over to the left okay your left wraps over the right we're going to come into a twist so right hand grabs a hold left arm shoulder high bring your gaze over the left shoulder and then you're going to come into a twist for me here okay so folding over so you've got the option to stay here or if you want to go the extra bit you can grab a hold of this foot, work the heel back towards the bottom, this other leg, grab a hold, extend it out. Still bring your gaze over your left shoulder. Holding it here, feeling that beautiful deep stretch. Okay, bend the knees, slowly come up. Okay, readjusting the body. And this time, shifting your buttocks over to your right. Your right foot wraps over. Left arm grabs a hold. Exhale, twist. Okay, so option, staying here or grabbing a hold of that foot. Heel comes to the bottom. This other hand grabs hold. Extend it out. So it's important that we don't go beyond our limit, um, our abilities, because that's when injuries can come about. So just listen to the body work at our own comfort level and release slowly coming up okay readjusting the body hugging knees into chest just gently rock from side to side for me and then taking the heels up towards the ceiling both hands grab a hold we're going to come into happy baby so in this happy baby, try and get this nice 90 degrees so your ankle is above your uh, knee. Okay, open up the knees wide, having them drawn down towards the floor, relaxing the upper body, and actively press the shoulder blades, spine, lower back, and buttocks into the floor for me. And breathing deep. Feel that abdomen rise on the inhalation and relaxing as you exhale. And just gently rock from side to side, giving our lower back a gentle massage as well as the internal organs. 
and then slowly release let's come into Shavasana okay so how quickly does 15 minutes fly by okay so just take the feet out wide arms out wide so your arms and legs are relaxed keep the back of the neck soft relax the face and just focus on the breath the tip of your tongue can just touch the upper palate of the mouth relaxing the shoulders and arms palms and fingers Relaxing the spine, your lower back and your buttocks. Relaxing your thigh muscles, your knees, your calf muscles and your ankles. Relaxing your toes, from the big toes all the way to the little toes. Just relaxing your entire body. And just for the next couple of minutes, just rest your heart, your mind, your entire being in these beautiful sacred sounds. Let these sounds just wash all over you, melting away any stress and tension you may be holding on to still. Let everything go. So when you're ready, just bring your awareness back into the space, onto your breath. Wake up the body by moving the fingers and the toes. Just gently rolling your head from side to side. And then drawing one knee into your chest at a time. both knees in, release the lower back once more, roll over into recovery, and when you're ready you can come up into sitting position.
Okay, so thank you everyone for joining me. I hope that you're energized and it's helped you to get going, get the body going. Um, and I hope you can join me again next time. Thank you. Namaste.